In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Pictory AI to create faceless videos. So let's start creating faceless videos using the Pictory AI. You can see I've already searched for Pictory in Google and you can see the search result right here with the official website. I'm going to click into the website to get us started and walk you through how you can create faceless videos. There is currently a pricing model, but in this example, we're going to use the free trial. So let's start with the free trial by selecting it right here and I'll walk you through how you can create your faceless videos, of course. So now we're on the inside. During the sign up, you have two options. You can sign up using Google or you can sign up using your email account. Make sure you have access to your email account when signing up in case you're sent a code or a password through your email account. In this example, I'm going to sign up using Google. I'm then going to use my Google account of my choice, which is my Google account, so wait for it to load. Once it's loaded, select my Google account. And then you can also read the privacy policy or terms of service if you're unsure of what permissions you're given to Pictory AI. In this case, I'm going to select continue to go forward into Pictory and we should now have access to the free trial. So this is a quick quiz that says, why do you want to use Pictory? So you can say to monetize on YouTube for my company organization, for my client, for personal use, other. So this is just basically for research purposes I presume that Pictory are gathering that data to find more about their users. Now, I've already monetized my YouTube, so I'm not gonna put that really. I would say for other in that case, and just say for monetize, for content, just for content. Because you might also be using it for, you know, I don't know what's going on with my spelling there. <laughs> so I'm gonna put for content because you might be using this for another reason or a different type of social media or platform. Let's start using Pictory and walk you through step by step. Now on the main page, once you're inside Pictory, you can see we have a welcome message that has come up on the screen, which is just reinforcing the message that we also have behind it. It says Pictory lets you create videos from text forward slash script and also lets you edit, repurpose your videos. So it says, what do you have in mind today? Script a video, edit a video, add subtitle to a video, in brackets, auto captioning, summarize a video using AI, or create a video collage. Let's begin with script a video. So we're about to select that in the background, but we have a prompt that's also appeared on screen. It says, alrighty, Pictory converts your text into personal video. What do you want to start with? So there are two types of text to video prompts that you can use. You can create using a script or you can create using an article. The next step is to proceed. So you can start typing your script or paste it in. Let's press proceed right here. So we have a few options. Now I already have a script that I've created and the video script that I've created is about Star Wars The Acolyte, which is currently on Disney+. Plus. I've created a script for a video based on that topic. I'm first going to paste my script because I already have it copied to my clipboard. So I have it pasted right here. And the title is at the top. So I'm also going to paste the title from the body of the script to the video name. So you can name your video and this will help the AI to create the video, of course, but I'm also going to leave it in the top of the script here. Now I've copied that from clipboard because I naturally copied my script ready to show you how this works. You can highlight some sections to help the AI find better visuals. So for example, we might want to highlight Star Wars, the Acolyte, because that is the main subject in our script and what we want our video to be about. So let's show you how to highlight something inside of your script. So if I press highlight right here, you can see it's highlighted the entire title. Let's see if we can highlight something else. So for example, I'm just gonna hi uh, first highlight um, Star Wars by selecting it, holding that mouse click and then tap highlight. You can see it's now in bold, so it's highlighted that. So Star Wars, I've missed out the fans. And let's have a look a little bit more. So Disney Plus is another uh, topic that I want focused on. Let's try that again. So it should change the video recording to those highlights. So it's going to focus on Star Wars, Disney Plus, and the entire title itself, of course, which is the main topic of the video and the article. 
There's more of as well that I want highlighted, but I've also already made text in bold. So keep that in mind. If you're using bold text in your article, that might not be highlighted. Let's see what happens here. So there's a Jedi murder mystery in Star Wars, The Acolyte. So I'm going to highlight this and then select highlight. And that sounds quite confusing. I'm going to highlight it with a click because that's what that's called when you're, you know, hovering and holding your click over text, you're highlighting it, but then you're pressing the highlight function on Pictory just to make that super clear so you're not getting confused because I realized I was just saying highlight quite a lot. So I'm clicking it, selecting it, and then pressing highlight. As you can see, that has changed my bold font. It has now made it on bold. It's now a normal font. So this might not actually be highlighted. So your bold text is already highlighted as an important topic. It's very interesting. So let's select this again. I wanted to show you that just in case you already have bold font in your script for your video. There we go. So now that's now highlighted. So we also have some settings in the top right hand corner that you might have noticed. When we hover on this drop down, you can see it reads auto highlight keywords which is toggled on. You can toggle this off if you want to highlight the keywords for yourself so that the video creates the video that you want as opposed to one it's assuming you want because you've used a title that's in bold. For example, like what I've just shown you, you also have auto visuals selection. Now I'm going to leave that on because I want the AI to select the visuals for the video. But if you want to have more control over this, then you might want to toggle this off. But as a beginner, leave this on because this is something that you can edit later on in Pictory. So it doesn't make any sense to take this feature off when the AI could provide you with an image that it's sourcing from somewhere that you don't know is currently available. So it does use video blocks, which is a stock footage and stock picture source online that you can pay for. And when it's actually sourcing these images, it's using what you've entered in order to find the right image for the video. So the text that you've entered is then using as a reference to the image that will be used in your AI video. When you target this off, it won't do that. Create new scenes on. So we have an option here, it says both, sentence breaks and line break. Now as a beginner, this is going to be quite confusing. It's better to make those breaks in your article or script yourself. Now this is a script that I've created for a video. I'm going to make those breaks so that it knows that it's creating a new scene. For example, in the intro, I want to make a space like you would in any normal written text. You would make a space when you're starting something new. That's what it means in terms of, and let's go back to it and just hover down, line breaks. Of course, a sentence break, because you might have a voiceover in your video as well as captions, a sentence break is of course going to make the AI, if it's using a voiceover, to take a breath, not a breath, but a break, because it doesn't breathe, because the AI is not human, but it will take a pause before reading the next sentence. You want that, of course, if there's something that you want it to run into with the voiceover, then you don't put the spec that you don't put the sentence there. But just a little point that I'd like to point out to beginners when you're getting started with this, that full stop is very important. You can also toggle where you put the full stop and the AI can continue to read. So just like you would when you're typing out any speech for somebody to read, it's the same thing except it can go on for a longer sentence if that's something that you want. Right, so let's make some more spaces here where I want uh, the AI to change the subject or know that it's a subject change. So I'm just going to make a few different gaps here that aren't already in my script for the video. I also have some video prompts. So I've added video prompts. Hopefully it should work. For example, if it selects one type of music, I don't know yet because we're just trying this out with the 14 day free trial. If there's one type of music, it might reference what I've put here. I've selected upbeat music fades or I've typed upbeat music fades. So the AI might at that point decide to use upbeat music throughout the entire video. Or alternatively, if it's using a different type of music, it might then consider using upbeat music at this point. This is something that you want to try and trial and error when using Pictory to create your AI videos. Because I'm not sure at this point 
But of course, that's something that you might want to try yourself. I'm going to give you an example right now when we're completing this AI video using my video script. So once you're happy with everything that you've put in your script, in the script editor on Pictory, and you're ready to create your video, you can then proceed. So right in the top right hand corner here, we have proceed. Let's proceed to see what's created here. This article, or this script rather, because it's not an article, it's a script that I've written for a video, is about Star Wars The Acolyte, which has just been released to Disney+. Plus. The first two episodes, and it's trending right now, so this is a very relevant video to create a faceless video for. Because of course you might not want to have your face in the video, and you might not want to use your own voice in a video on social media, or wherever you are posting your video content. So our video has just completed and you can see it reads watermarks. Don't worry, the stock visual watermarks you'll see here are only present in preview mode. They won't be included in the downloaded video. So that's a very cool note because when you're creating your AI video and you're previewing it on the website, it's letting you know that the watermarks in the images that have been used, for example, water, video blocks that I mentioned earlier on, those watermarks might not be on your finished video when you're downloaded. That's a very cool thing that Pictory includes. Quite a cool feature there. I'm going to select got it because I'm happy with that. There's more that we can do and you can see here we have a note that reads, want to give your video a personal touch in minutes? We've created a video of your text file. We understand that it's not 100% accurate, but you can customize this video in minutes. So that's quite cool. So it says help me customize so we can walk through that. But just before we do. So as you can see, we have a preview of what the video looks like so far. We're currently viewing a section from the video. So this is the title section that we're currently selecting. In the right preview window, we can see what this part of the video looks like. If I press play, this is currently the image that has been provided. Now it hasn't used video blocks, it's used Getty images for this one. They usually use Getty images on television shows, for example, sitcoms or a documentary about a celebrity, or for example, if they are referencing something in a talk show and they need the image, usually Getty images is the source that they're using for those photography images, for example. So I just thought I'd point that out as well. So back into our project here. We previewed the first part of the video. Let's have a look at the next scene. So the next scene is intro. You can see there are some stormtroopers and some Star Wars like things in this part of the video. Let's take a look. So let's press play. So it looks like they are Star Wars toys and people are viewing the Star Wars toys there. There's some intro. There is some upbeat music that comes next. It says National Moon Day. Okay. So what happens when you're not happy with what you have so far and you want to change things, maybe you want to add some audio and a lot more. Let's get into that now. So we're going to select the help me customize to walk you through how you customize your video. So there's a guide. If we select the guide, you can say find relevant visuals. So right here, you can find relevant visuals, select from a huge library of over 3 million stock footage clips. So if we select visuals from here in the side menu, you can see that you can then begin to search for images in order to use in your video for this section that we've currently selected in Pictory of our video. Simply type in the keyword, hit return or enter. Once you've found your preferred visual, click on it and replace the one in the scene. So we're currently on this scene that you see in the preview window. I'm going to look for something else instead of National Moon Day. You can even upload your own videos slash images. So if you have the file yourself of what you want to include in this part of your video, you can do that. So you're theoretically editing your video and you're getting a live preview of the change. Let's search Star Wars in this section here to see what's provided by Pictory, where they're sourcing the images that we can use in the video. So I've just searched for Star Wars. Let's give it another search. 
You can also filter via category, for example, arts and entertainment. That would be our section, but so let's say we want something else to do with Star Wars. For example, a Star Wars game. You can filter via games as well. Maybe there's some Star Wars food and drink. I mean, that's a bit of a reach, but you could filter via food and drink. And there are many other categories that you can select from as well. For example, internet and telecom. In this example, I'm going to go for arts and entertainment because it technically is a visual art that you are viewing and part of the entertainment sector that's what star wars is where it belongs what it's from what it is so let's have a look here to see if we can find another type of star wars type of content that we can use in this scene that we are changing in our video so i see something that looks relatively star wars like it's in the middle of space it looks like it's a spaceship of some sort maybe a destroyer it's not a destroyer, but I'm going to select it anyway. So I'm going to press the plus mark and add as layer. There's also a few other things you can do. For example, replace visual. In fact, we'll do that because we want to replace the visual that we already have. And there is search similar. So you can search for something similar, which is a really good feature. Or you can favorite. So, of course, it will go into your favorite section and you can find it again and use it maybe on another video or later on in this video so it will filter it and you'll be able to find that quite easily by going back to your favorites let's select replace visual so i'm going to replace the visual that we currently have and we should see that change take place now the change has taken place which is brilliant but there's more that we want to do so of course we want some audio and we want some voiceovers and stuff so let's make sure we can get that done as well so we've shown you how to replace a video in your finished AI piece but there's more so we're going to click into the guide again and we're going to walk you through a little bit more because we're still changing things in the video that we have we've just changed one of the scenes let's go to add AI voice narration now this is going to be brilliant I'm going to click that arrow on the guide here as it's our first time using the Pictory AI it says find AI voices background tracks and more so the audio section is where you find all these pieces of media to add to your video. Let's select this. This message reads, have an AI voiceover narrate your script for you. Choose one with perfect accent. So we can select our AI voice for our video. Let's select voiceovers from this menu here. Realistic AI voices for your videos. We have partnered with 11 labs to give you better AI voices Professional users now get two hours of voice generation per month at no additional cost. So keep in mind that this is the trial version that we're using. And there, of course, are tier levels to the paid versions of Pictory. We have our premium voices available in the trial. So let's have a listen to the quality of these voices now. Let's listen to Abby, who's female. The only thing to do with good advice is to pass it on. It is never of any use to oneself. So we've just had a preview of what Abby sounds like, and that's an AI voice voiceover that we can use for our video. There are quite a few filters that you can apply to find the AI voice that's right for your video. For example, we can choose male or female. I'm gonna to stick to female in this one. So I'm gonna filter via female. We can go for purpose, which is ASMR, audiobook, children's stories, conversational, interactive, Meditation, and I need to zoom in here so I can see it a bit closer. Narration, news, news presenter, raspy, video games. So in this example, I'm going to select narration because I want a narration for my video. I needed to zoom in there because I could not see the text because it is quite fine. I do wear glasses. We could also filter via age. So if we want a young voice, a middle-aged voice, or an old voice, in this example, I'm going to select middle age because most of the Star Wars fans are of a middle age, like typically. So that makes more sense, a female middle age voice. Predominantly, the Star Wars fans are male, but I'm choosing female in this example. For the accent, you can choose the accent and where the voice is coming from. So you're getting a US accent, a UK accent, for example, an English Indian accent, because there are Indian people in England. So, of course, they have an Indian twang to their accent of their voice. And this, of course, might appeal to those type of viewers, if that's what you're aiming for. An Australian English accent, again, because Australians also talk English. So you can have an Australian type of accent to your English speaking voiceover. New Zealand, and there are more. So in this example, I'm going to select English US because we're targeting US viewers in this example then it's going to filter the voiceovers that are currently available and as you can see we now don't have any voiceovers that are available with those filters applied 
So let's take some of those off. I'm going to get rid of middle age and you can see that we now have some voiceovers that we can use in our video here. Abby was the first one we've listened to, but let's have a listen to another. Work while you have the light. You are responsible for the talent that has been entrusted to you. And Rachel? Change in all things is sweet. So we're going to go for Dommy, which is the second voice here, and we're going to select apply. That's going to apply the AI voice to our video. And you can see a notification on top of the screen right there. Audio has been applied, but we also want some background music, right? So we can also select background music. So as well as a voiceover, background music is also an option that's available. Let's select background music now and find some music for our video. So we can search for different types of tracks. Now this, of course, is going to be filtering the search results that you get when you're looking. So you can be quite open with a search for a track. So you could literally search hip hop, but that's a genre. So it's better to use some of these filters here and of course the duration. So the duration of our video at this current moment in time, I'm not sure of because we don't have the full uh, video duration. It's still being calculated. So that's something that we can have a look at a little bit later on. But we have purpose, genre, duration that we can use for filtering the type of songs that you can find and use for your video. Let's go for genre to begin with. So of course we want something that's maybe a little bit sci-fi because it's about Star Wars. We have electronic film score, which is going to be a brilliant filter to apply. And we also have uh, orchestra hip hop, probably not a hip hop genre for Star Wars. That's not really a hip hop type of thing. But if you, that's the flavor you're looking for when you're targeting your audience, then you could go for that. Definitely. There might be some Star Wars fans that are heavily into hip hop. You know, never put people in a box. You never know what people are into. You can search a little bit more and you can find the genre that you're looking for for your type of video. So, of course, if it's a very serious tone, you'd be able to find something that's very serious. Dubstep might go into a Star Wars fan's mind a little bit. Because if you really listen to some of the words that are being used, you can actually remix those words in Star Wars for a dubstep song, for a drop of a dubstep song. I thought about that when watching a Star Wars movie before. Just thought I'd interject and add that. I was listening to... Uh, the beginning scene of, if I'm not mistaken, the rise of Skywalker. And there's a villain that says, release the base cannon. And he's shooting at the rebellion. And when he says that, I'm like, that sounds like the drop of a dubstep song. So if you're really inventive, you can apply the right type of song and try to get the viewers that might have had that same thought that you had. And you might end up going viral. Who knows? So just thought, just thought I'd inject, interject there and just uh, let that note just sink in. Would be a brilliant dubstep drop to the song. Of course, sampling the voice from the movie. But anyway, let's continue. So there's more that we can do here in terms of not just your genre. You can filter via purpose as well. So TV theme is something that you could use. I don't know if they have the TV theme for what you are creating your video for. But just to let you know, this filter is here. So let's say you're making a TV video about reviewing Doctor Who. You might be able to find something to do with Doctor Who if you select TV theme. Who knows, you might have a cover of the song. Keep in mind that copyrights could come into play when uploading to places like YouTube. So keep that in mind when you're using music on the site. As you might run into some copyright issues depending on where the music is being sourced from. In this example, I'm going to go into drama and I'm going to filter via film score electronic because that seems like the right direction to go. And I'm going to apply the music to the video. Uh, you could also edit your video later on if you don't want to add any music from this source. If you're unsure or you're worried if you're going to run into any copyright issues later on. Let's jump into applying that filter and press apply to apply that filter to the search results of music that we can use in our AI video. We can also sample these songs right now, but of course, could run into some copyright issues. Never Give Up might be a song that we listen to right now. Let's have a listen. Just waiting for it to go. Oh, do you know that wouldn't work for this video? Let's listen to Wondrous Universe. Warm Fields. No regrets. And you can get a feel of the type of music that's used in this filter here, just to give you an idea of the type of music that's being used. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for a complete different genre because I've had a listen now, and that's what these filters are absolutely brilliant at doing. You can have a listen to the type of genre, so you know that that genre is not the one that you want or the one that you're looking for. When this is the case, let's have a look for some more. So I want something that's maybe a little bit more serious or maybe a little bit depressing because a lot of the Star Wars fans are depressed right now. 
They just are. So let's find something that is of that tone to reach out to them and maybe make them, you know, hook them into the video or might use something that's a bit more upbeat. So mood is also a filter that you can apply to these songs here. So let's go for intense hard, of course, or maybe hopeful or optimistic to bring up the spirits of the viewers. Let's apply that to find something that's more hopeful and optimistic, maybe, you know, make them uh, feel brighter about the Star Wars or storylines right now, and give them a, more of a chance. Let's select and listen to Light in the Sky. Not something you would expect from the type of videos you're getting from Star Wars fans at the moment. So that might be a brilliant tactic to use when you're creating your videos using AI. Just put, put in the flavor into it and giving you some, some room for thought when you're creating your AI videos in this way. It's a faceless video. You can experiment with your creations here. So I'm going to apply light in the sky to give my video an upbeat feeling, which might hook the viewer because they're like, it's a Star Wars video with a real upbeat, upbeat feeling and it's a fan that's created a video. Wow. So that could hook the viewer. And and you could have a long retention for your video because they might be curious as to you being happy about the Star Wars uh, content that you're consuming right now. Different to the norm of what we're consuming online right now. So we've just applied that light in the sky to this video, changed one of the scenes and now also applied a voiceover to the video. Let's have a look at a little bit more because we can add styles to our video. Let's have a look at what styles is. So styles is something that can also be applied. I'm assuming this is going to be something to do with the changing the style of text. Didn't see that come in. So you can change the style of text. At the moment, we have some auto captions that are applied. We might want to change the style of text for a caption that is of the voice that is talking. So let's go to the next scene. So I'm just going to skip to the next scene. So you can see that it's exactly the same for the next scene. Always good to check. So let's change the style of text here. I'm just going to hover over this one. So you can see the difference. That looks quite cool. Blends in with the purple but also stands out. It's just something we haven't seen in these types of videos uh, commonly. So that's just a style that you can have a look at, but there's a lot more and you can scroll through and find the style that's right for you. I'm happy with this one. I'm going to use this one for this video. Let's go into text. So text, add decorative text boxes, click on any one note. These text boxes will not be narrated by AI voiceover. Add headings, watermarks, source references, etc. So what this means is, let's say you're entering a new topic in your video and you want a header appearing on screen for that topic. So let's say we're about to do a spoiler section and we want to add the spoiler section as a header in the video. This is a way that you can add this to your video. So let's just give you an example and I will delete it because we don't need it for this scene. So I've just added one to the scene and I'm going to select done. It's a header right, and you can see here I can change this header to suit my needs. So let's just put spoiler, spoiler alert. So that could be a way that you could add more to your scene and add some context and you can see what it looks like right here. Can we change the font? So I'm just going to select it right now. You can see that we can duplicate. We can copy to all scenes. So this would appear on all of the scenes. This is a different scene that we're on right now. And there are more options if you select these three dots by copying, duplicate, which is what we had before, copy to all scenes, layer order. So you can layer up, of course, if you want some other text beneath it or something else beneath it or on top of it. In this example, I don't want this for now, but I wanted to show you how you can add text boxes to your video. So let's delete this for now as I wanted to show you how to do that as a beginner, as the voiceover will not read that out. And it's not something that I need at the moment for this type of video. We also have branding. Now this is brilliant. Let's say you have a logo for your types of videos. For your videos, you might have a logo, uh, uh, you know, that you're featuring throughout all of your videos to show that it's you who's creating the video in AI. You can add this to your videos. And this is the way you would do this and you would add it by adding a create a brand right here. Now I don't have one ready, but of course this is going to search a device for an image that you can then use as a brand. So if we select this, you can see we have quite a few options. We can give our brand a name, upload a logo, add brand colors and a brand font. So like we've just looked at, 
when you're adding headers. The brand font could be used specifically for your AI videos when creating with Pictory. And that's a good feature to have a look at if you're the type or the way inclined when you're creating your AI videos. Just a feature that adds to Pictory and gives you more control and more editing control over your videos. Let's go back into our creation as I opened a new tab. So I need to make sure I can get my way back to where I was. Maybe go into my projects. And we should see my project in this section here, hopefully, fingers crossed, so we've just navigated away. So you can see our project is here and waiting to get back into. So now I'm just gonna select the project to open it back up because we navigated away, opened a new window, but Pictory has taken note of it. And of course you can get back to your project. It hasn't been lost and it has been saved because we've been making changes to our AI video. So let's jump back in right now. We have a please wait on the screen because it's now loading, but you're seeing this in real time to see how long it takes for you to get back into your project if you've navigated away. Maybe you lost internet connection during the creation of your AI video. It's there and this is your project that you're loading back into. So as you can see in our project, we have a tree of process for creating our video. At the moment, we have our project file, but the video has not been generated yet because we haven't completed the editing process. And we also have no text generated yet. So you can generate text from your video. First, we need to complete our video first before we get into anything else. So I'm just going to open the project now. I just wanted to show you as well that tree, that process, those three steps that you will be completing when creating your videos from a text script. So of course, we've created our script for this one. And that is how we've got to this stage at this point by making a few different changes. So now we're back inside our project. We also have elements. So we've gone through visuals, audio, styles, text, branding. Now we have elements. So there are stickers and such you can add to your video. So you can use emojis, GIFs and stickers. And you can also search for what you're looking for as well. So let's say, for example, we're talking about a vote of some sort, maybe of a Got Talent talent show that you're watching on television and we're doing a review of an episode. You can add the voted sticker and that will then add to our scene you can actually edit this as well for example you can move it and resize by grabbing the edges and if you click on it you can move it around as well there's also a message prompt that will display when you first use this and that it's gone <laughs> didn't have a chance to read it but you can see here we can move our sticker around and we can also delete it if we're not happy now that's not going to move around in the video it's going to stick and pin to a position this reads now the message is back on screen. This reads, new, make your videos pop with color overlay. An overlay can really up your game by improving image text readability while ensuring a consistent look for your videos. So just like your branding, you can see that you can actually use an overlay that you can reuse in other videos. It's just a really good thing to point out. So when you click into this, of course, you can change this GIF as you please. So you can also see some examples of different types of GIFs and overlays that you can use in your videos and how this will be displayed in your video and different things that you can do to it. So you can always scroll through this part of Pictory to find out some more and there are articles to read as well. There are a few things you can do with your overlay GIF. You can duplicate it to have another one. As you can see, we've just duplicated. You can copy to all scenes if you want it in every single scene. You can delete. And then, of course, you can select those more options to see, to see more that you can do with your overlay. For example, you can layer it up, put one underneath the other. So in this example, we're going to delete it because I'm not happy with it right now. And it's not something that I wanted in the video that I'm creating for this purpose. So I'm just going to click the bin on the overlay and that will then delete the overlay from that scene. And last but not least, we also have the format. So you can change the format of your video and there are three options right now at this current moment in time in Pictory. We have the 16 by nine landscape video, which is the usual video that you would be viewing in full screen on social media and other places on and offline. We have the nine by 16, which is a vertical video that you would normally see in Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, or TikTok. And then we have the one by one square, which is a squared video that you could sometimes see on di different social media platforms, including Instagram. 
In this video example, we're going to use the 16 by 9, but then we're going to change the resolution itself because standardly it's at 720p, but you also have that 1080p quality, that high quality video. You can also optimize your generated video for size. So turning this on would reduce the file size, but increase the video generation time. So of course, because we're creating in 1080p, we can optimize our video for that rectangular size 1080p video. And that's something that we want and waiting for that little bit of patience is definitely going to increase the quality of your video. So let's say for example, something's been rescaled for this size video. You want it to be of that high quality and not looking stretched or distorted. When selecting this, this will help you when doing that. So anything that you've resized will then be sized correctly. So let's select this and optimize our video for that 1080p rectangular 16 by nine landscape video. Now notice how our text has not changed in this scene here. It stayed the same for this scene. So we've made a change in one, but the other scenes are looking the same. So let's go into our scenes and make sure that the text at least looks the same. So we want the same type of text for all of our scenes here. So let's make sure that that is done. So it's as simple as selecting the text and going into each scene and just making sure that it's the right style see our different scenes now i'm just going through one by one and just changing it so that we have a consistent style throughout as you can see that can get quite tedious so we have another option if you like a style of caption you can also go up to the top right hand corner of its tile and then you can apply to all scenes that will save you a heck of a lot of time so you don't have to go through every single scene changing your caption style I'm also just going to change one of the visuals because I'm not happy with the initial visual. I don't think it's eye-catching enough to keep the Star Wars audience. So I'm gonna change that initial scene right here and find something else. Now there are quite a few things that you can do to your scene as well as changing the actual individual visuals. Let's say you have an image instead of a video, for example. So let's find a Star Wars image or video because you can do it for the same as well as video. So let's search Star Wars again in the sources that are currently available. Star Wars Acolyte is actually available. So let's search Star Wars Acolyte and see if we can find something to do with Star Wars Acolyte. Now at the moment, it doesn't really find anything that's specifically Star Wars. So let's have another search with just Star Wars because that has changed the filters to other things. So we want Star Wars itself. Maybe that would be better. Let's see if it recognizes it in our TV filter because we did also have TV filter, if I'm not mistaken. So let's see, was that not in this one? No, that was in music. Okay, never mind. So one thing you can do when making your edits is you can keep your visuals on screen here on the side and you can toggle through each scene to find what you're looking for. For example, Yoda is here. Now I think I want to use Yoda more than once because it's a Yoda statue. So let's just go into some of these and just make those changes applicable. For example, this one here, I think I want to change so I can leave my videos that I've searched for on the left and then enter ones that I'm happy to use. For example, Darth Vader also here. So you want to enter Darth Vader. It's someone in a Darth Vader outfit that definitely suits his scene. Let's apply that to the scene. So surprisingly, there are quite a lot of Star Wars themed videos that you can use in the videos that are provided here when I'm searching under arts and entertainment Star Wars. So right here, I'm just gonna select and enter the ones that I want to use in this video. Let's play this scene. Now, as you can see, the scene lasts a little bit too long as it's only using two words. So I want to make sure that this scene isn't as long as it is. There are a few options that we have up above. We have color, color overlay. Visual has no audio, as you can see. So let's change that. We can trim the video, turn the looped visual off or on, convert the layer or disable a zoom. Let's say a scene lasts too long, like this one here. I only have two words for the narration to read. So it shouldn't last as long as it does because if we preview this scene, you will see that it lasts quite a long time. I don't want it to last this long as it drags out the video and we might lose that viewer retention. So let's change this by giving this a trim. So I'm gonna trim the video so that it only lasts a couple of seconds. So we don't want it to last as long as it does. Visually stunning and then cut. Once happy with the trim that you've created, you can then complete it. Update the scene duration, yes. And you also have a message just letting you know the action that you're completing there. 
Let's go back to where we have our narration and background music included. So I'm going to go to the scene that has our narration and background music included, which is our first scene right here. And if we play this, we should have our sounds. Let's have a listen. So you can hear that our narration has not been included in this scene just yet. So make sure that your narration is also included and your background music has also been applied. You can also toggle the volume of your music and voiceover by going up to the corner here. You can see volume. So we can also toggle the audio. For example, make our voiceover louder or our background music slightly louder by percentage. Remember that you're changing each scene at a time. So you might want to apply your voiceover and background music to every scene. In order to do this, go to the bottom right hand corner and then over the settings when you've applied background music or voiceover, you can see another checkbox that says apply to all. Select these to apply this to your entire video. As well as this, you also have some more options here that are worth having a look at, including upload voiceover, record voiceover, change voiceover, remove voiceover. So when you hover over the microphone icon here, those are the options that you have available. So if you've recorded your own voiceover for the video, you can add this. Or if you have an AI recorded voiceover ready for the video, of course, you can add this as well. On some scenes, you might want to hide your captions, which you can do by selecting this icon next to the microphone icon here. And you can hide those captions on the screen if you don't want them to apply in this scene. I'm not going to do that, but you can also do that for every single scene in the video as captions may be auto applied to every single scene in your video. So you can do this change that you've made to the captions to every scene. I want the captions to remain, so I'm going to put them back on. And of course, this is something that you can also apply to every scene in the video. The voiceover you've requested exceeds your remaining monthly limit. To continue, add more minutes to your plan or switch to the standard voice. So I did notice that I was having an issue with my voiceover there and I, I'm not able to apply the voiceover that I wanted. So I wasn't actually playing over the video, but of course when you have the paid version of Pictory, you'll be able to use the exact voiceover that you want to apply. But don't worry, you just have to use one of the standard voices. So we were in premium voices to begin with. By closing this drop down, you will see that you also have standard voices. And this is what it means by the standard voices that you can use for your video, as opposed to the premium voices that we alternatively used at the beginning of this video. That's why it's always important to watch until the end. So let's select one of the standard voices to use for our voiceover. As I did notice, we were facing an issue with the audio when previewing and the voiceover was not playing through. This is the reason why. So we've now applied a standard voice as opposed to one of the premium voices in our video. So now we've applied a standard voice as opposed to one of those premium voices. Just something that we needed to point out in this tutorial. Once this is done, again, double check to make sure that it's applied to all scenes so that we don't have the issue of any scenes being silent as we're not creating a silent film, of course. <laughs> you want those voiceovers. And of course, this is how you can do it in the trial mode as well. So you can also select preview from the top right hand corner of the screen and this will generate a video preview for you so you can preview what your video looks like because this preview window that we're given does not showcase the finished video or a version of the finished video before you've exported. So in order to do that so you can hear your voiceover and background music included, you need to select that preview button. In the Star top Wars, right corner. the acolyte a look at the first two episodes, spoiler free. Intro. Up. Upbeat music. Hey, Star Wars fans. The wait is finally over. Star Wars, the acolyte has landed on Disney+, Plus, taking us to a brand new era in the galaxy far, far away. Today, we're diving into the first two episodes, Lost, Found, and Revenge. So as you can see, the AI read my prompts. So I wanted to test that out. And when I was writing my script, I had prompts like upbeat music 
I need to delete those prompts or maybe delete those scenes because that is not what I want the AI to read out during narration. So let's get into some of those scenes right now and make sure we're deleting them from what we have. So for example, intro right here, I don't want it to say intro. So I need to make sure that that is deleted, not just from the captions, but I don't want the AI to read it out either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the scene entirely. So of course we can change the style and approach but I want to delete the scene. So I'm going to go to the scene that I don't want and hit this button right here to get rid of it. Confirm. Are you sure you want to delete the scene? Yes. I don't need the scene. I don't want the scene in my video. I don't want it to say intro or anything like that sort. Upbeat music is another one. So I'm going to make sure that's also gone. Let's delete that scene. And this is how you can delete scenes from your video. We're trimming the video size right now because there are some scenes where I don't want that to be included. You can also scroll through each scene by pressing these buttons to the right or the left. Of course, the right would be the next scene. The left would be the previous scene. So we're making sure that we don't have any scenes that we do not need or want. What I've noticed is, of course, you can also add your videos as layers, but this can get quite complicated. So as a beginner, I wouldn't say use layers just yet, unless you're just resizing and placing something in a corner of a shot or a corner of a screen. Because as you can see, if it's in the way of some of the font, text or video that you want to showcase, then it's going to get quite complex or complicated when you're trying to move this layer around. You can select those three dots for more options and then have a look at the layer order but again this for beginners this is going to be a little bit too much so I would advise you if you're getting started with this software with this AI then I would advise to replace as opposed to adding as a layer so I'm going to delete that layer right now but the last thing you want to do is delete your progress accidentally so I would advise use those video replacements first before you get started with layers also a helpful thing that Pictory does is when you're going through your scenes, you might notice that you might have the captions appear, these filters that appear that are referencing the text that you have used in your script. So for example, the last scene I referenced popcorn and popcorn was given as a filter that I can select. Let's give you another example of this. So I'm first gonna close out the video by getting rid of the last frame here because I don't need it to say end. So I need to move over to the next scene. So I'm gonna go back here and as you can see, it's automatically begin to give prompts here as to the type of videos I might want to use, the type of videos or images I might want to use in this scene. For example, mystery has just appeared and there is also the intrigue, adventure genre, episodes and galaxy. And that is because of what's being used in the script. And you can see that right here. Now I'm going to use this image as opposed to the one that's on screen, which is just mystery. I wanna make sure that the fans are the focus. So the fans are the ones who are watching the mystery unfold. Once you're happy with your creation and you've trimmed each scene to your liking or changed the duration of each scene to your liking and you've added those captions, the branding elements, including any overlays, stylistic approach, audio as a voiceover or not, and visually in each scene, including the resolution, you can download your video and that's the next step. Let's select download I'm happy because I've just looked at the preview, so now I'm ready to download and I can begin to download my video from script to video using a Pictory AI. Another great feature of Pictory is you can run your downloads in the background and then get notified when the video is ready. So in this example, that's what we're going to do. For example, right here, here's the button where it says run in the background. I'm going to select this so I can show you some more of Pictory while that's getting processed. So let's go back into Pictory, into the main menu to see what else we can create with this AI as a beginner. So we've just used a script, but you might not have a script. Now here's where we're going to blow your mind. So we have article to video. This is going to be amazing. Text to video. This is going to be a lot easier than what you've just done. So right here, you can see copy paste the U copy paste the URL, and we can command and V because it knows that we're using a Mac in this example. But the option for you to do this on Windows would be Control and V. That is to paste. To copy on Windows would be Control button and C. You can also right click over a link 
and then you will have the option to copy. And then do the same when you get back here and you can right click and then you'll be able to paste. So that's how you can paste your links. So we're going to go into our article first and then once we've found our article, we are then going to paste that right here. So as I've just mentioned, Star Wars Acolyte is currently trending. So let's find a Star Wars Acolyte article that we're going to paste. So from here, I'm just going to open up a new tab. I'm going to search for Star Wars. And then from here, we're going to go into news. And then you should have something to do with Star Wars Acolyte. And straight away at the top of the search results is the Acolyte review. So we could make a video out of this article by The Guardian. The Guardian is a news source in the UK. So let's select this link. Wait till we get to the page. I'm going to copy the link from The Guardian and come back and select proceed. So we don't have our link just yet. So we couldn't proceed until we pasted the link. Let's paste the link first. So we now have our link from The Guardian. Now let's select proceed. We're going to make a video out of the article. So it's extracting key messages in the article. I haven't even read the article at this point. It's a review of Star Wars Acolyte and it's in its first two episodes on Disney+. Plus. So this is an early review. So they might have had an embargo and what that basically means is you're getting some gems here. What an embargo means is there is a period where you're not allowed to release your review of the content but you might have been able to view or consume it before you or content on the thing that you viewed early or consumed early. So that's what I think is the case with The Guardian. I think they've been able to consume the episodes of Star Wars Acolyte beforehand. And that's why the article has been written so quickly and released so quickly. So here we are with the article in Pictory. So we have the article summed up in Pictory. Then on the right hand side, we have the AI powered summary. So it summarized the key points of the article. So you can scroll through the article right here that it's now gathered and it's also highlighted some parts that it thinks are important to the article. And then we have the scenes of the video that have been created as a result. So these are what the scenes of the video are going to be about. And you can read through these each and of course you can change them to your liking. So if you're happy with what you have and you don't want to change anything, you can then select next. But there are also scene settings, which read auto highlight keywords, which is what it's done here. Auto visual selection. So it's automatically going to select visuals for each scene. We're going to leave it as it is and select next. So it's taking a lot of information, summarizing it and then creating visuals based on the summarize version of the article. It's taking the information from the article originally this is an amazing feature and a way to create videos using the Pictory AI. We haven't written this article, <laughs> so keep that in mind. So now we have images including one of the characters from Star Wars Acolytes. We can go in and change things accordingly, just like we did with our own script idea. So we can change the visuals, audio, style, text, branding, elements and format. In this one, we're going to do this fairly quickly compared to our previous. So first we have our title, The Acolyte Review, Star Wars Getting a Thrilling New Hero. And that is the title. That is also going to be the caption down below. Keep in mind that our captions right now are from an article. So you might not have those prompts like what I've written originally in my script for a video. So I don't have to go through each scene and toggle those accordingly or delete those scenes. So this is going to be a lot quicker when we're working from an article. We can also change the visuals of the text that appears, the captions that appear right here. If we select this, you can see that we can also delete them just like we had before earlier on in this tutorial. But let's get into those visuals right here to change things accordingly, because of course you can add something to the scene. Now it's taken an image from the Guardian itself and it's taken the logo away from that. So our video has just been generated, our original video from that script as well, just to let you know. So we will showcase that later on in this video. That notification is now complete. We have downloaded our first created video using the Pictory AI. Thank you for that notification. But I'm pointing out that the image from the article has been removed. So the AI has removed the Guardian's logo from that image there, which is in the intro of the video. That's a really good feature to have. 
going forward a little bit more you can see that the uh, they are using other images for each scene here but i want to change that all important font that caption and include a voiceover so let's select audio in order to include a voiceover that's one of the main things i want to do here let's first go to a soundtrack because that's the first thing that we have on screen right here let's have a listen to what we have now it's already selected one let's keep that in mind that an audio has already been selected there we go so I don't like that one because it has some audio uh, vocals in it and I don't want vocals going over our voiceover even though we can toggle the loudness of the voiceover and the background music. So the one that's been selected originally is Suspicious Activity. Let's have a listen. That's brilliant. I like it. I like it already. Let's go and have a look at the voiceovers now. So let's have a look at the voiceovers to see what we have for our voiceovers as well. So I'm just going to select voiceovers, making sure that we're not selecting the premium because we're in the trial of Pictory. And then scrolling down, we're going to find a male voice for this one this time. So we're just going to switch it up. Let's have a listen to Aiden. He's male. Welcome to Pictory. It has been shown that video increases convert. I don't like that one just yet. So let's just go for the language and see if we can change it to more of an American voice. So we have English for now. Yeah, we just stick with English. Doesn't look like we can go for English American for the accents that might be in the premium. So we're going to stick with what we have for now. Aiden male is what we're going to apply. This is slightly, yep. So let's apply this to the scene. And then of course, we're going to apply this to every scene in the video. And once that is applied, of course, we're going to make sure it's applied to every single scene. Remember, you can also change the speed of your voiceover as well. And that is an option from the drop down right here. Now that voiceover has now been applied. So let's get into the next step. Of course, we want to change the visual approach right here. So styles, if we go into styles, we can also change our style around like we did beforehand. This time, let's go for a different style caption. So I'm going to change the style of caption right here. I'm going to use the lemon yellow. So lemon yellow is what we're going to use, but there is a better one. Actually, there is a yellow one that I like that's just here. So I'm just going to change that. Just take a while sometimes to change the fonts and style. So let's just select this one instead. Remember, you can create your own styles and you can save those as well. The different fonts that are available are also at the bottom of each tile. So the fonts that you're using, you can see as well. Now I want to apply this to every single scene. So I'm just waiting for the first one to load up because we're having some buffering issues right there. There we go. I'm just going to apply to all scenes by clicking the corner of the tile to make sure it's in every single scene of the video. Now this is already going to be a great video and you can see it already. So apply to all scenes. We're just having some loading issues. Just seeing this in real time so you can see how long it's been taken to apply. Now that has been applied to all scenes and you can see that it's absolutely covering the screen actually. So in some of the shots, it's just really covering the whole, it is quite large. So I might have to, <laughs> I might have to change that back to uh, lemon yellow instead because that is quite a large font to use. And I don't want it covering all of the images of every single scene. So let's just change that. And just like you would with the original script type video you would go through change things accordingly trim where you need to change any fonts remove any fonts that you do not want add overlays and more now i would advise when you're getting started if you've just added a voiceover make sure you do this on the first scene so you know where it is and you don't lose where you've added your voiceover and music so that you can then apply that to the whole video and every scene because sometimes you're editing via each scene so that's why I like to make sure that when I'm beginning a video edit, if I want my voiceover to appear throughout, I make sure that I do this on the first scene so that I don't lose where I've added a voiceover or sound. You then go in accordingly and of course you can add this to all scenes. For example, the background music and voiceover. Once you're happy with the finished piece, remember that you can always preview before you go ahead and download. This video duration is 1 minute 13 seconds, so it's a lot shorter than our first that I created from that script. The Acolyte Review, Star Wars gets a thrilling new hero. When you are, when you are trying to craft compelling new stories within a well-established fantasy franchise, mm -hmm. it can help to ditch the baggage and put some clear water between your baby and the existing mythos. Alright. Game of Thrones prequel House of the Dragon jumped back a couple of centuries. Before long, Osha and her chirping handheld repair droid Pip have been cleared and mobilized into Sol's task force to neutralize the ninja. 
who apparently has a Kill Bill-style hit list of Jedi to work her way through. If this eight-part series presents as a sort of Star Wars whodunit, who is the shadowy mastermind pulling the strings of this Jabatha Christie murder plot? As the guarded Osha, she cautiously makes a connection with Jedi trainee Jeki, played by Daphne Keene from his Dark Materials, an alien whose ghostly complexion, platinum mullet and ravishing orange eye streaks suggest she is from planet Synthpop. In contrast, the Acolyte benefits from being a fresh start for the so as you can see, we have an example, a preview, and it is struggling to process the preview so that you can see what's going on in each scene. But you can see a general idea of what you've created there. So you can see that we've created a video from an article fairly quickly. With just a few tweaks that I can make here and there, it's a brilliant video already. Of course, those few tweaks might be something to do with the audio that I can just toggle here and there, make the voiceover a little bit louder so it's more prominent in the scene. Maybe also change the speed of the voiceover but you can see already how brilliant this video is i would like the audio to be a little bit more louder so that you can hear of course the tone of music and that all important voiceover once you're happy with your creation you can then download one thing i've noticed about when you're completing your videos ready for download is that it doesn't download automatically so let's show you where to find your files after it's processed and ready to download in pictory so right here on the top, you can see a notification bell. Select your notification bell if you selected to have notifications ready for when your project is complete. As you can see here, we have no notifications because I've already gone into them. So I need to find out exactly where my file is. If I go into my projects, from here, you'll be able to see the projects that you've already started or completed to your liking because you can revisit your projects. So when this loads, I should have two projects, one that I created from the article that I've already downloaded and my original, which I need to download and I will use to show you how to download your video once it's completed in Pictory. So I'm just waiting for the app to load here. So as you can see in this window, we have our two projects one that i've downloaded which is the linked article that we've created a video out of and then the video script which i haven't downloaded yet but i've processed it if i hover over this you can see i have a few options download duplicate so i can duplicate the entire project move which of course if you're creating folders which you can do you can move this to a selected folder so let's say for example i create a folder called star wars i can move these projects into a star wars folder let's show you how this is done so i'm going to type star wars here select create and then i've just created a folder where i can put my projects i think i might be able to drag and drop so let's try a drag and drop you can't but i can select move i can also delete the project entirely but now I've created a Star Wars folder, it's an option. So I can create a new folder or move it to the Star Wars folder. Let's move it to the Star Wars folder. And the one I am yet to download, I'm going to select download. Now I've already done this once and it processed it, but now I can select the type of file that I download. So I needed to show you this because that's very important. You can download it as a text file. So you can get what your video is as a TXT file, a VTT file, an SRT file, which of course, I think if I'm not mistaken, is used for captions. But to have a normal video file, you wanna go for MP4. So I'm gonna select MP4 here to download my video. And now you can see it's now in my Google downloader as I'm using Google Chrome. And that file will be available on my device, which has just gone to my downloads. That's a very important part to show you. And you can see that the file is quite small. It's only 43 megabytes. So it's a very small file that we've just downloaded. Let's take a look right here. So I'm going to select it. And here is the video. So we can preview the video, the full finished piece that I've created from the script that I have written. Let's take a look. Star Wars, The Acolyte, a look at the first two episodes, spoiler free. This will disappear hey, Star Wars fans, the wait is finally over. Yep. Star Wars, The Acolyte has landed on Disney Plus, taking okay. us to a brand new era in the galaxy far, far away. Brilliant video. Today, we're diving into the first two episodes, Lost, Found, and Revenge, Justice, without any spoilers. Okay. The High Republic era. The Acolyte takes place during the High Republic. 
Yes, yes, so as you can see right there, it was quite easy to download once we knew what to do. And of course you can download it as a TXT file, which I think if you have the notepad software, you will be able to open that file. So if you're unaware of how to open TXT files, try notepad if you have that software available that will open a TXT file. So depending on what device you're on, you might have a different software to open txt files so that's why i'm just pointing that out to you guys if you want to find how to open a txt file to check exactly what it is because it should be if i'm not mistaken the transcript of the video because a txt file is a text file it says it on the tin so there we have it that's also how you can download your video and how you can find the project of your video creations so that you can find and download it in different formats as well you can also delete the project if you don't want the project at all i'm not going to do that because i want to revisit this and of course you can duplicate let's duplicate and delete one as well so i'm just going to duplicate this and then delete the duplication just to show you that you can delete your project you can also check mark it before doing that so if you want to delete more than one you can see that i can check mark this and delete more than one so what i'm going to do is i'm going to duplicate another to make another version just to show you how that works as well so now we have two versions of this project duplicate projects we've copied them i'm going to select two and then from the left hand side i can delete these items deleting those projects entirely so you can also delete projects in this way just thought i'd show you that as well so we've just created two videos number one was using a text script this is the result from the text script to video using the pictory ai let's take a quick look star wars the acolyte a look at the first two episodes spoiler free hey star wars fans the wait is finally over star wars the Acolyte has landed on Disney+, Plus, taking us to a brand new era in the galaxy far, far away. Today, we're diving into the first two episodes, Lost, Found, and Revenge, Justice, without any spoilers. The High Republic Era The Acolyte takes place during the High Republic, a time of peace and prosperity for the Jedi Order. The galaxy is vast, the Jedi are at the height of their power, and a young Padawan learner named, well, we don't actually know her name yet. That's part of the mystery. A Jedi murder mystery. But peace is shattered when a shocking event throws the galaxy into turmoil. A beloved Jedi is murdered, and our young Padawan is thrust into the heart of a dangerous investigation. Who is behind the attack? What are the motives? These are just some of the questions that will keep you guessing. New faces and familiar themes. The Acolyte introduces us to a whole new cast of characters, but the series also explores some classic Star Wars themes. The balance between the light and dark sides of the Force, the power of friendship and loyalty, and the challenges of maintaining peace in a vast and complex galaxy, these are all central to the story. Visually stunning. The Acolyte is visually stunning. From the breathtaking landscapes to the intricate costumes and lightsaber battles, the production value is top-notch. It's a feast for the eyes for any Star Wars fan and must watch for fans. Whether you're a die-hard fan or just getting started with Star Wars, The Acolyte is a must-watch. The first two episodes set the stage for an epic adventure filled with mystery, intrigue, and the iconic elements we all love about this galaxy far, far away. So grab your lightsaber popcorn, head over to Disney+, Plus, and check out Star Wars, The Acolyte. And be sure to stay tuned for our spoiler discussions on the next episodes. Upbeat music fades. May the force be with you. And then the second video we have just created using a link from an article in Pictory AI. Let's take a look at the second video final piece. The Acolyte Review, Star Wars gets a thrilling new hero. When you are trying to craft compelling new stories within a well-established fantasy franchise, it can help to ditch the baggage and put some clear water between your baby and the existing mythos. Game of Thrones prequel House of the Dragon jumped back a couple of centuries. Before long, Osha and her chirping handheld repair droid Pip have been cleared and mobilized into Soul's task force to neutralize the ninja, who apparently has a Kill Bill style hit list of Jedi to work her way through. If this eight-part series presents as a sort of Star Wars whodunit, who is the shadowy mastermind pulling the strings of this Jabatha Christie murder plot? 
As the guarded Osha, she cautiously makes a connection with Jedi trainee Jeki, played by Daphne Keane from his Dark Materials, an alien whose ghostly complexion, platinum mullet and ravishing orange eye streaks suggest she is from planet Synthpop. In contrast, the Acolyte benefits from being a fresh start for the creators and the audience alike, with no homework required. Don't forget to subscribe to the Mr. Money YouTube channel for more, because now you know how to create videos using the Pictory AI and some text or a link. You now know how to do this. Don't forget to subscribe for more and thumbs up the video which helps the algorithm and helps you find more of the videos right here on the Mr. Money YouTube channel. Thank you for watching, see you in the next one.